What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you more self-sufficient. So today is another episode of Chasing the Best Work Gloves. So this is a pair from Steel Outdoor Pro is the model, and I'm about to show you an up close and personal. Let's do a tabletop review. Stay tuned. Alright guys, nothing like a nice tabletop review of a good set of work gloves. So I've been wearing these for a while now and you really can't even tell that I've worn them other than them being a little dirty. But this is uh, some deer skin and man does this deer skin really hold up. Let's get a close up here. Uh, you can see from where I've been stacking and cutting firewood, um, there's a little abrasion, but not much. I love that these go full length on the hands and they're not chopped off like um, other sets of gloves where you have like the finger that just, uh, you know, stops here and then you have a stitch. This is the first place that's going to rip on any glove and then it's going to be along the seam here. So uh, when you look at these gloves, they're all... 100% all the way to the tip of the finger, uh, and then, you know, they're stitched on the back side. So, uh, very, very good uh, construction here. I think they went, they did great with these gloves. Um, they, this deer skin allows you a lot of dexterity. So, I was kind of worried about them at first, um, but I'm really, really impressed of just how much dexterity you have in these gloves. Um, usually the end of the index finger is always like super, super stiff and you can't really even do anything with it or you can't grasp anything. Um, and this really allows that feel between your fingers. Um, so, you know, is if you were using a precision screwdriver, you can still manipulate the screwdriver just fine um, and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, anything from that to uh, just running a chainsaw. They are very, very comfortable. They have a lot of dexterity. They're really tough on the back. Now, you know, this is a second kind of cool thing to me is this, the rubber impact stuff on the back. Um, you know, you rarely tear up this kind of stuff. Uh, this is all just for looks. Uh, very rarely do you get hit in the back of the hand or something roll down on your hand. But if it does, you have these kind of things here to protect you. So I really like these gloves. Um, I'm, you know, I'm, if, if you've talked to me in the past, I'm not really a fan of having them tight around my wrists, but they work great. So these gloves are definitely high on my list. I'm going to go ahead and, you know, we had talked about in a previous episode, the Ironclad Ranch Works. The Ironclad Ranch Works are, uh, they have the bullwhip hide, um, and they're really darn good. This is two seasons of firewood cutting, so these things have been put through the ringer. The only thing that these do better with is dexterity. Now, I can see in the future we'll probably have some issues here and here, um, and maybe along this seam here, where you know you have a little bit of adder protection here, and especially here in the thumb well on the ranch works. So I, I'm i gonna go ahead and presume that these are going to start um, getting a little worn here, but I've been wearing these for a few weeks now and put them to the test, and you know these are showing less wear and tear than a lot of gloves. Um, for retrospect, I think I have about the same amount of time on these gloves as I do on these gloves. So we're not gonna go over this brand quite yet, but this is a huge fail. I mean, you can see just how easily, you know, some firewood cutting or firewood stacking just rips through some of these gloves. So yeah, these are nylon gloves. Do I expect a lot from them? No, but I shouldn't be out, you know, in a week out, you know, a set of gloves. So uh, you'll see these in an upcoming review here on this playlist soon. Um, but these are a big, huge fail, especially for any kind of demo work or uh, stuff like that. I would definitely recommend these for demo work, log cutting, uh, uh, you know, 
taking out briars, um, any kind of yard work where you need some real hand protection. These things are awesome and uh, a, my definitely go-to glove for anything that needs dexterity. As far as, you know, chopping and uh, stacking firewood, you know, something like this um, for regular yard work where you need a little bit more feel in your glove. These things are definitely the ticket. We will see how long they hold up. Maybe I'll do a, you know, two-year review or one-year review of these. Um, I've had these for a couple months now, so uh, I've got a couple weeks of actually working in them. So in due time, we'll see how these hold up, but man, are they good, and they look good for uh, all of the things that I've put them through so far. So I highly recommend these gloves. They come in at about $25 from your steel dealership. So if you are a uh, frequent to your steel dealership and um, you're looking for a good glove with high dexterity, these are the ticket right here. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. As always, give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you guys are into. And I guess we'll see you guys in the next video.